In this lesson, you will learn how to create requirements coverage in ALM Octane in the same manner like you did in ALM QC. So let's see how this is done. First of all, let's log into the project and go to the requirements module and see what are our requirements which are not yet uh, covered. So I can um, see here a simple requirements tree where I have here a test coverage uh, tab and I can see exactly the requirements which are covered and which are not covered. Additionally, I could also uh, change the view in the coverage analysis to see it more accurate. Okay, anyway, let's see how we can create a requirement coverage um, in the LMQC. So first of all, let's say I would like to create a new test for change password and link it with this uh, requirement. So I have uh, different options in uh, QC. I would either go here and say convert to test and walk across this wizard to um, convert this structure into the test plan structure. Uh, which is basically uh, doing the duplicate uh, of the structure or I could cancel here uh, and I could go into test plan select the folder and now create a new test which is a manual test let's say change a user password and fill out the fields you need to fill out here in your project say okay so now the test is created and i can for sure design now the steps and so on but we will skip this now let's go to requirements coverage and from here i can now select the appropriate requirement and cover it with this test so let's select it change password and i can say now add to coverage and if I would go back to the requirements module, I can click here on refresh and I will see that this requirement is now covered. The change password is now covered with this test what I've just created. So let's see how this can be done in ALM Octane. Um, you saw that I have navigated through two mod modules. So one, uh, the requirement to identify and cre maybe create the requirement. And then I went into the test plan module to uh, create the test and the desired steps and so on. So in Octane, you would be in the requirements module. We have here also different um, areas which are covered and others are not covered. So I can go here in the change password section, which is exactly the similar view we had in ALMQC and now I can click on test and the quick thing here in ALM Octane is that you can directly create the test on this structure yeah so I don't need to switch the module anymore I can do it directly here so let's say change user password uh, add and that's basically it I have created the same what I've done in ALMQC now in ALM Octane. And one more thing which is uh, which you need to consider is that you are using just a requirements module. Uh, and everything you were doing in ALM QC using the requirements module, test plan module, and test lab module, and also during execution creating defects, you can now do directly in uh, ALM Octane in the requirements module. So let's now run the test here in ALMQC and see how you create a defect yeah, for this specific uh, coverage. So first of all, I need to go to the test lab module now because I need to plan the execution. Here I can add the test to the test lab and now I have planned it. Yeah? So this no run in ALMQC means test is planned but not yet run. I could um, go to the requirements module and I can see here it's still no run because the test did not uh, run yet but now it's actually planned as it is part of the uh, test set so let's run it now even we don't have any steps so but we will run it 
And as we have no steps, I can directly do it from here. So I can say, let's say test is failed. And I would now create a defect. Let's say test um, um, user cannot change password. Authentication service down, service uh, down. And then that would be it. I have created a defect and set and run. I would now see that this is saved and I can um, see also on the requirement that this has been failed by refreshing it. Um, now, if I would like to see here the linked uh, defect, they, I need to manually link them now because they are linked only to the run itself. Yeah? So if I would go here in the execution, and on the execution, I have the runs. And here I can see I have the link to the defect. And now I can go to the defect and see it in the defect module in the details mode. So here I can open the defect now. And this is the way I would see it. Yeah? But getting it from the requirement, I need to really do a manual linkage by doing it here by ID and say 90 link. And now you can see my defect has been linked now to the requirement and I'm able to see it and capture it here. Alternatively, I could also do it through workflow and so on, uh, through scripting, but this was more customizing. Let's see exactly the same uh, how you can do the planning and execution of the test on the requirement itself in ALM Octane. So let's go back. Again, consider we are on this view in the requirements module only. Here I go now to the test itself and I can do the planned run in just in order to demonstrate that this is exactly the same like we would uh, do now in LMQC by putting a test into a test set. Here you do just the planning. <clears throat> so now the run is planned. And on the run, I can now go and execute it um, in order to do the test execution. Now I can see it here. So the test can be executed. I can now here do the failure, test is failed, and create a new defect, um, which is exactly the same like we had in LMQC. Um, user password cannot be changed. Authentication service is down. And I can also apply if I want uh, the steps uh, which should be here and then say add. And now here I can stop the run and go back. And I can see directly here that the test is failed on this specific structure. Now in ALMQC, um, I was not directly able to identify the defect on the requirement. In Octane, you have here also the defect tab, which shows you also all the defects which are uh, appearing during the execution or are open during the execution. They are automatically linked to the according requirement. Um, just in order to speed up things and also show the areas which are blocked uh, by defects much, much faster and easier. And uh, this feature is called auto populated content, which is turned on by default. You can turn it off, but it's a very, very handy feature uh, to show you directly the linkage and um, which are appearing on the coverage. So you can see directly here if you can add also additional. Uh, defect. Um, let's say I would just say here open defect by severity. I don't have any severity yet. Now let's quickly ch uh, change the configuration. So I don't want to see the requirement. I just want to see the phases uh, in the circle. So let's say this is good. And now I can directly see even here furthermore all the defects which would be opened and uh, I could also apply the severity if needed um, will be displayed directly here. So this is a great um, way to directly point on the heat. Here I can see a test is failed and here 
directly the defects which are open. I can move it around as well. So this shows me much, much easier uh, way to display um, the hotspot on the requirement itself. 